Hey guys, so you've created a store and you've ran paid ads before, but you've been wondering about how can I actually market my business in an alternative way? And perhaps influencer marketing has come up. And then also you've seen really successful brands use affiliate marketing. I'm talking about things like Hustlers University and powerful influencers who've leveraged affiliate marketing in the past to get huge, crazy sales. And you're thinking about maybe testing out for yourself. Well, we can do that with this app today called GoAff Pro. And I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your own affiliate marketing program to then create your own affiliates to market your brand entirely for you. And you're going to give them a percentage from each sale as an incentive to keep marketing your business completely free. This is going to save you money on ads. And it's also going to be another one of the things in your arsenal to market your brand and actually grow your business and build up brand integrity. So let's jump into it. So we want to install this app called GoAff Pro. This is a complete affiliate and influencer marketing solution that's very easy to use. We can have unlimited affiliates. We can have unlimited sales, traffic, and potential. This allows us to create a branded portal for our own affiliates to then use to get their referral links and see their stats. There's nothing like an affiliate program that doesn't work, okay? Even as an influencer, I've been asked to use affiliate links to promote certain things, and sometimes they don't even show me a dashboard, so I can't track how many sales I've actually gotten, so I don't know if they're actually underpaying me. The reason why this is annoying is because you might be promoting a brand, and then you just don't get paid or you get scammed. With this app, we can make sure that anyone who is an affiliate for our brand can track exactly what their stats are and see how many sales they converted so that they're getting paid the right money. This is very important if you want trustworthy affiliates who will stick with you long term and actually promote you and it gives them a little bit of trust with you. Very important. So go ahead and press add app. We're going to jump straight into it and not waste any time and I'm going to show you how to set it up. Press install app. Now on the dashboard we're going to go with a free plan so press choose and now it says installation was successful and let's get set up. So press get started. We're going to click I'm new to affiliate marketing and it's going to give you an introduction of how it works. An affiliate network has two main parts. So the affiliate is someone who is affiliated with your brand who advertises for you. And basically they're people who promote your products and they get a commission from you for promoting that product. So an example, like we said before, Hustlers University, people promoted Tate's course using viral TikTok videos. People joined by clicking their links, their affiliate links, and then they got a commission of like 25, 30%, something like that from that course sale. So that's basically what we're doing here. We're basically going to set the commissions for what they're going to get per sale and they're going to get a payout from it. Let's press next and let's continue. And now we understand what affiliate marketing is. So let's get started with the basic setup. So first things first, we want to give them a certain commission for selling our products. Now, a good percentage to start with is 10%. But if you really want to encourage them, you could give them a high commission. So let's just say 35% of every sale that they convert and sell for us, they're going to get. So they're going to get 35%. So if they sell a $50 product, they're going to get 35% of that $50 for an example. This is very high, but it's a very good incentive because affiliate marketing is kind of hard to get people to stick with it. So giving them a high commission, it's going to make them dream of being rich from your program. Coupons. Do you want to give discount coupons to share with your followers? That's also good. You can give them a 10% discount. Remember, this is also going to eat into the amount that you're going to make because if you're giving them 35% and then they're also getting a 10% off coupon for the customer, then you're losing 45% in total from the sale. So make sure to keep a balance with this, okay? But discount codes are very good incentives. So our affiliate portal link is this. So we can copy this over here. We can copy the address and you want to let the store visitors know of the affiliate program. So you want to create an entry in the header or footer of your store and then add that. So you go to navigation on the left hand side and what you do is you go into one of your menus. So for an example, I'd go onto the main menu over here, which shows on my website. I'd add a new menu item and then below we'd paste the link in here we've just been given and then we'd click this, add it and then we type the name, the entry and just call it affiliate. We just call it affiliate program. So if I move my camera, you can see now and we'll add this to our menu. And then what we'll do is we'll press save menu. And now this will show on our website. And this will basically allow people to see your link to join your affiliate program and sign up because then you've added it into your website's menu. Now you can customize the portal so you can add your store logo from here, add your brand color. Mine's like a pinkish kind of theme. So I'm just going to add that. And then we can go ahead and press save and continue. And then now we've set up our affiliate program. So we can open up the affiliate portal to have a look at what it looks like over here. And they can visit the link in our menu we've added and register and log in and then they can share the affiliate link and their coupon code on their social media or grow a social media presence advertise your product make money from your program and then you'll make money from it as well this is the affiliate portal here as you can see it says your logo here that will change if you replaced it in that step previously and it'll show the commission you've set so we put 35 percent so they're going to earn up to 35 
30% commission for every successful referral. So if they get a sale on my products, I'm going to give them 35%, which is all done automatically through this app, right? And they can earn 35%, they can advertise and they can join for free. So they would press join now and then they'd sign up. So I'm going to sign up with Google just quickly. So as you can see, now I've signed up with Google and this is my affiliate account. Just let's just pretend I'm an affiliate, but they would have a link here as you can see, and they'd copy that link on their social media. So when people clicked on that link, it tracks the sale through that link and then they will get commission if someone buys through their link and they would basically refer people on social media and it says 35%, which is how much they're making from each sale. And their coupon code is the name of their account. So mine is just called the Blue Crusader, which is my other YouTube name. So that's going to be my coupon code. They can also change their own coupon code here, which gives customers 10% off just like what we set. And from here on the dashboard, this allows them to see how many referrals they've got, how many orders they've got through their referrals, the conversions, the percentage of their co conversion rate, people clicking the link and then purchasing, it'll give a conversion rate. It shows the sales they've made in dollars and the earnings in dollars that they've made from those sales. So it will show if they've sold $100 of products, it'll show here. And then the 35% of those $100 of sales that they actually earn will be shown here too. Then they have access to marketing tools. So link generation that they can use. Payments is where they can actually add things like their PayPal. So the app will pay them automatically. Me as the store owner and you watching this video who set this up, you don't have to deal with that because that's going to be a lot of confusion and you don't have time for it when you're running a business. This is dealt with automatically as a system. Under settings, they can view information, they can change the name, add the social media and update their referral or affiliate account. So now you can see we've actually got the affiliate process working. They can set up, they can earn from the sales and they can advertise our business. And we've set up a link in our website for them to click on. So now let's have a look at the other options. So we have the look and feel. This is where we can change what the affiliate portal looks like. So we can change the store currency, the store brand name. We can add the logo just like before and change the branding colors down here, as well as the language, the legal information and other pages on here as well. On top, we can change the landing page. So it shows all of the elements on here, the sign up page. So we can change the template to look different. We have this slim page by default. We could also activate the modern one to have some more imagery on there. The affiliate dashboard, we can change which options are enabled. So I can enable advanced analytics and transactions so we can give them more information and we can enable more things like show products sold, show order details, show traffic source, basically give them as much data as possible the more you enable. We can change the dashboard colors for an example down here and make them more like our brand as well. There's a lot of things we can change. We can add tracking via the Facebook pixel and Google Tag Manager, set up Facebook Messenger and also modify the toolbars over here as well so that we can use widgets. There's a lot of powerful stuff we can do. Then commissions is if we want to change our program's commission rate later, maybe we thought that 35% was too high to offer them. So we could change it and we could drop it down to let's say 30%. So we want to give them less money. This is particularly an effective sales strategy to use when we have a ton of people in our affiliate program already, then we already have people in demand for those spaces. So there's so many people that want to advertise our business and become an affiliate that we don't really need to have a high affiliate rate to incentivize them to join anymore. So we could sneakily kind of put it down a little bit lower and then improve our amount of revenue or profit from that revenue because we're giving less to the affiliates. So we can set the commissions for the affiliates and the default commissions over here. This is how we can go back and change those and change the royalties later if we change our mind, okay? We can also change coupons here. So we can actually remove coupons for our affiliate members. So that test account I created earlier, you can see my user and then my coupon. We can actually press delete and delete their coupon code if we don't want them to be able to use it. We can also change information about the discounts and the coupons. For an example, detect coupon leaks when they're leaked on coupon sites, for an example, which is very useful. Then we can manage our affiliate members which show up under here. So we can click all affiliates, which shows me. Then you can see how many orders they've gotten you, how much revenue and earnings they've generated themselves and for you and the amount that's unpaid. We can go into sales to see those sales and sales data, the payouts which have been issued. From here, we can actually manually issue payouts. So we can press start payout and, and initiate those payouts to our affiliate members and do that manually. We can go into creatives. So these are media items which we can actually upload. So if you've ever been an influencer, this is very popular if you're an influencer or journalist. When you work with a brand, they'll send you what's called a brand kit or a sponsor kit. And that's basically images, videos, banners, material which you use to actually market that product or brand. This is you creating your own media kit or brand kit in here so that the affiliates can use that material to promote. So maybe you have video clips for them to use in short form content. You have images or banners for them to use on websites and blogs. This is where you'd upload them. Marketplace. This is basically where you can add onto their marketplace so people can find your affiliate program easier. The post checkout pop-up is shown to customers after completing their checkout. So it's like integrated into Shopify. Multi-level is multi-level marketing. So they 
can have sub affiliates and they all get commission when a referred sale is made down the level. Now, multi level marketing, I believe, is legal. It's not exactly looked down on very well. So, this is kind of a little bit controversial, but this may be an option you want to use. But multi level marketing is kind of the whole pyramid scheme. So, you're moving away from typical affiliate marketing and you're going towards an MLM or pyramid scheme, which you probably don't want to do. But that is actually a possibility there to allow affiliates to get commission, but then affiliates get more affiliates and get more commission from each other. That's the thing. Then analytics is how we can see all the data. So we have one sign up, which was me as a test affiliate. The settings we can change over here. And that's how to set up your very own affiliate program with Shopify and get people to do all the legwork in advertising for you. This is especially powerful when you have people making TikTok content, YouTube shorts, posting on Instagram, and just basically getting you all that reputation for your brand without you having to do all the work. It basically allows them to be your own social media managers and market your business. But the incentive is that they're getting money for doing it and you don't have to pay real hired employees. One risk to affiliate marketing though is people could use certain tactics to get more sales which might not exactly be very moral and also it might affect your brand's integrity so it is also something you need to think about as well. If you have any comments or questions leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to answer them as soon as possible. All I ask for you is to like and subscribe for more free content and my free Shopify dropshipping course is linked down in the description below too and it's completely free and if you need a Shopify deal you can get three months for only one dollar using my link too and it also helps out the channel so i'll catch you real soon